Is Prime OS the best Android operating system for gaming? We all got caught in this Windows subsystem for Android mania, but is still a lot of work to be done to it, until it's stable enough to enjoy real gaming on it. And even then, it will still not be compatible with older systems, with less than 8 gigs of RAM memory, because as I have shown in my previous video, WSA is a total RAM memory killer. And this is how I started searching for the best Android operating system, for all type of devices, old and new. Based on popularity, I chose to test 4 Android operating systems. Android x86, Bliss OS, Phoenix OS and Prime OS. My main goal, was to find the OS with less crashes, preferably none, and with the smoothest game experience. I wasn't interested in which has a better GUI, features, or which one has more bloatware or ads. No. Just the gaming experience. If Android x86 and Bliss OS went out first because of crashes and freezing, the race between Phoenix OS and Prime OS was a little more tight. But ultimately, Phoenix OS lost. Even though it did not crash, the OS was not as smooth as Prime OS, and gaming seemed somehow slower, could even say laggy. So therefore, in my opinion, on my device, Prime OS was the winner as a gaming Android OS. Now, I know that opinions may differ, especially when it comes to gaming and everyone's favorite OS. But remember, this is just my opinion, based on how well the OS has worked on my device, and I'm not trying to sell it as a fact. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at Prime OS. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon, so you won't miss any of my future videos. In your browser, search Prime OS, or go directly to primeos.in. The website was another point plus for Prime OS. Even if this has nothing to do with the OS's capabilities, when I tried to access the Phoenix OS website, I was greeted with a warning that made me doubt if I should go forward. But because I wanted to finish the test, I eventually downloaded Phoenix OS from a third-party website. However, this was not the case with Prime OS. The website is nicely made, game-oriented, and easy to surf through. On the download section, you can choose between classic, for 32-bit older systems. Standard, for 64-bit systems from 2011 to 2013 period. Or Mainline, which is also for 64-bit systems, but from 2014 until present. Separately, I've also downloaded the classic version to test it on my older laptop. Once the download is complete, you can use Rufus or Belena Etcher to flash the ISO on the USB drive. Personally, I like to use Ventoy. For this tutorial I'll be using the same USB that I've made with my phone, and saved my Windows 11 in the process. Now that the flashing is done, you can restart your device and enter in boot menu. Common keys for accessing the boot menu are Escape, F2, F10 or F12, depending on the manufacturer. Like with most of the Android systems, you can either choose to go on with Live CD, running Prime OS from USB without installation. Prime OS installation, where you can choose a partition to install or advanced options where you can install prime os on a specific hard drive keep in mind that everything from the hard drive will be erased so make sure you back up your files that's it prime os is now installed on your device you can run prime os directly or choose to reboot first out of habit, I went with Reboot. Something important to keep in mind if you don't go for full installation, but you want to install it on a certain partition, then you need to format that partition to ext4.
touch games, like 8 ball pool, Candy Crush Saga and so on, you can simply play with the mouse. While others, like Sonic Dash or Subway Surf, they can be played both with the mouse and the keyboard. In Sonic Dash's case I had to use the build-in key mapper to set it up. DecaPro, which is the name of the build-in key mapping tool, is already pre-mapped for some popular games like PUBG, Free Fire, Call of Duty, Subway Surf and so on. And if your favorite game is not among the pre-mapped ones, then you can easily do it yourself. Just press the F10 key on your keyboard and the DecaPro menu will appear on the screen. Next, it's up to you to customize your game exactly how you want. While recording for this video I had issues connecting to servers in PUBG. But earlier that day everything was fine, and because I don't know what I'm doing in this game, I got myself the regular share of kicking. <laughs> 